was just looking through a ton of your YouTube requests, and I saw you guys were, well, a lot of you guys were requesting to draw Ross Draws. And this was another artist that I knew, so I was wanting to do this, and I hopped right onto it. I Normally when I know the YouTuber, it's probably going to make me want to do it a little more. But I'll make sure to try and get to all the other YouTubers as well if I can. The sketching here, you're going to see a whole lot of skips. And you're not going to see much of it simply because I was having so much trouble sketching that day. I was really slow. That's because I was on mics talking. <laughs> I was chatting while I was trying to sketch. And it, it, it wasn't working well. I was just going so slow. So editing it was a real pain. But I hope it's okay. I mean, it's a lot of skips. But anyway, I know who Ross Draws is. He's an honestly an amazing artist. Like, insanely good. Like, you have to go look at his art to even know what I mean. It's so incredibly good. It is like a realistic anime art. And I've always, always wanted to be able to do those realistic anime-ish art pieces. I always thought those things are so cool. And just so amazing, and I wish I could do those. I, if I had more patience, and I put in a lot of practice, I hope one day I could draw like that. But, oh my gosh, I know I always tell you guys, don't compare your art to other artists and stuff like that. I'm like, that would just burn you out, and here I am comparing myself to another artist. But <laughs> it's hard, but I guess I'm not, I'm not discouraged by it. I'm more like... I want to do better because I see someone who's good. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, his art is amazing. I love the realistic anime art. I've seen his art on DeviantArt a lot. So I'm guessing he does have a DeviantArt account. I'm not sure. I'm assuming it's him. I don't think someone would repost all his art. I mean, I would hope they wouldn't get away with that if someone was. But yeah, I, I've seen it all over DeviantArt and I was like, it's really cool. Like they did like the Powerpuff Girls with like witches and stuff like that and all these cool different art pieces. And I've gone to his channel. I didn't realize he had a channel until just like a few months ago. I've gone to his channel and realized he did a lot of stuff and he actually does his videos so professionally where he can like sets up the camera so he can see the tablet from like out and it makes him like really entertaining. And most artists don't aim for such entertainment. So I thought it was really cool that an artist was actually trying to be that entertaining and doing it kind of like a gaming YouTuber style where they like do it all wacky and crazy. And I thought that was cool. That was like really unique. But I, what I really love incredibly so much is that realistic anime art style. I've always wanted to try for an art style like that, but I've never even attempted it ever. Because I, I'm just so scared to attempt it. Or do you guys ever feel like you're scared to attempt a style? Like, I may talk about, like, improving and act like I have good tips. No, I can't follow my own tips. Because I'm also scared of doing things and trying to improve. Because I would love to change styles or... I mean, I would probably still stick with, like, an anime cartoon style for quick drawing. Since I'd kind of have to draw multiple drawings every day for my channel. So I would have to stick with a pretty fast drawing style, but oh my gosh, I would love to be able to draw a realistic anime sort of style like that. And some of the brushes they use are just so nice. I, I wonder if you can download brushes for Paint Till Sai. I have never actually attempted downloading brushes. I know Photoshop has a lot of ways to download brushes. I see them on DeviantArt all the time, even on the front page. There's like awesome brushes for like skin textures and stuff like that. Make hair to drawing easier. All these different brushes that just look amazing and would make drawing so much faster and so much nicer. But I've never tried downloading brushes and I don't use Photoshop, so I don't have a way to get those. But I wonder if Paint Till Sai has brushes like that. So honestly, I think I should look into that and see how that goes. And maybe I can show you guys how that works if I do ever look into it, because that would be cool. I've always wanted to know how to do that, how to get the brushes and get all those special techniques to do things. Because right now I'm just using the very simple starter brushes in Paint Till Sai. And if you guys don't know, I think the Paint Till Sai website is now, um, down you can download the, the program for free. I think it's all just free now because I think before you had to pay for it or something, but I was there the other day and it looked like there was just a download link. And that's interesting. I guess it's free. I, I don't know. I may be wrong, but I was just there trying to download it on my other computer when I was looking at a tablet and I was like, wow, 
that's weird because I remember it was like it was like probably close to 30 bucks before but yeah I've always used paint till sight when I started doing anime drawings and stuff like that I think it's just so simple and really easy to learn compared to Photoshop and Photoshop used to lag my computer out and Photoshop takes an eternity to start for some reason though I'm speaking from like I don't know how many years ago I've been using paint till sight for so long that I'm sure Photoshop is probably a lot more manageable now than it was back then. I just remember back then, it was a pain. It would like lag out your computer so bad trying to use Photoshop. And <laughs> I still haven't used it in so long. So I would like to try Photoshop again just to see how it works. But I have been using Pictosci for so long, it would probably be a really weird to swap over and try it again. Another challenge I saw would be to try drawing with a mouse. <laughs> that would be really interesting because I, of course, that would make everything so much harder and really hinder art because I haven't drawn with a mouse in forever either. I use a big tablet, so that would be really hard. But yeah, I was looking at his channel and he has incredible art. Like, it's so good. And I know I was going to say I'm jealous and that sounds like really terrible because I'm like trying to like tell you guys not to get discouraged, but I'm not discouraged. I'm not discouraged. I just think his art is really good, like incredibly good. And I know he's practiced for so long and he didn't magically get this. So I'm not going to say he's lucky because he's not. He worked so hard to be able to draw like that. And that is amazing. And I would have to work just as hard to be able to draw like that. And so I need to not be lazy and actually work for it. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm not, <laughs> don't think I'm saying that he's like magically amazing at it because all artists work hard to get to where they are. It's not like they're suddenly perfect at drawing at age two. I don't think it never works that way. Even if someone's talented, they still have to practice and put in the hours to get good. Everyone progresses. It's not like someone is so talented. They're just instantly amazing at art. It doesn't work that way. And some people seem to think that it works that way. They're like, well, you're talented. So therefore you can do art. But then they're like, I'm not talented, so I can't do it. But you're like, have you ever tried? And they're like, no, I've never actually tried drawing. So how would they actually know? They have to practice. It's not like it's going to instantly come to you. It's not like when you start an instrument, you're instantly going to know how to use it. No instrument is instantly going to be like something you know how to play. But then later in life, if you learn how to play it, people will say you're talented at it. They'd be like, wow, you're so talented at that instrument and all that. And But that's because you practiced and put it all the time. It's not like it just came to you instantly. And that's one of those big things that people seem to as um, assume is that talents are something that just magically give you abilities to do things. But that's not how it works. You have to put in a lot of time practicing. And I can only imagine how much time this guy, Ross Draws, puts into his art and how much time it took him to get where he is. And I wonder how many um, artists, a lot of people talk about art classes and stuff like that. And honestly, I don't know. I have no idea what art classes are like because I was homeschooled and I've never gone to an art class in my life. So I do not know if they are good or if some are bad or some are good. I don't, I have no idea. I'm sure a lot of amazing artists have gone to art classes. I know they do a lot of probably realistic. The only bad things I've heard about art classes is that some art classes have teachers that don't like anime or something like that or don't want that stuff. But I mean, I understand them wanting to you to learn like realistic proportions and stuff like that. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm not even going to attempt it. I know nothing about art classes. But yeah, Ross Draws is amazing. I was... I was really looking through like all his videos the other day. I was like, how could you draw like this? How do you do it? And then you watch the video and it looks so easy. He makes it look so easy and I don't know how. And it's just, uh, I had to hurry with this drawing last night. I had to draw it real quick. So I hope it looks okay even though it was rushed. But yeah, you have to check out his channel and let me know other YouTubers you want me to see draw. Want me to see me draw. Yeah, English. Good. Okay, well thank you guys so much for watching.